uh, so this is something about rpl so we have uh, uh, seen everything uh, i've like discussed detailly about rpl we'll see uh, what are the take home messages the psychological impact of rpl is enormous affecting the mental health of the woman so rpl leads to depression and affects sexual function affecting the relationship with the partners so support of the medical team along with the continuous support of the partners can significantly improve the subsequent pregnancy outcomes so tender love and in addition to medical therapy can lead to successful outcomes so the use of progesterone supplementation as i discussed In, is in reducing miscarriages is well established and supported by numerous studies so oral is most preferred route of administration by patients compared to injectable and vaginal progesterones didrogesterone is the orally effective progesterone as compared to um, sustained release micronized progesterone the use of didrogesterone 40 mg stat and 10 mg bid like twice per day has been shown to reduce the incidence of pregnancy loss in this threatened abortions So, didrogesterone, uh, 10 mg twice a day till 20 weeks of pregnancy causes significant reduction of recurrent pregnancy loss. So, yeah. So, better to give uh, rather than 16 weeks, stopping at 16 weeks, it's always better to give till 20 weeks in this RPL patients. So, thank you uh, very much, uh, Medversity, for giving me this opportunity. Yeah.